Hello and welcome to the grand finale of the RB Global Challenge 2019, the annual case study competition that is hoping to redefine out-of-the-box thinking for students across business schools in India. So this, we hope, is a breeding ground, what you're seeing here, a breeding ground for entrepreneurs with that smart idea that can transform India, solutions that can address India's socio-economic needs. So in this competition, students were asked to take up any social issue related to health and hygiene and to come up with their big idea to solve it through RB product innovation, service innovation or RB brand extension. So we're now in the final stage, the last lap. We have narrowed down the eight best ideas from over 12,000 submissions. And here they are, they're gonna battle it out. It's five lakh rupees for the runner up, 10 lakhs for the winning team the national winner who will then represent India in the global finale in London and complete with teams with big ideas from over a hundred colleges from 13 other countries. So best of luck, congratulations and in the hot seat uh, today with the tough job of picking the best big idea, here's our jury. First, Dr. Raj Bhandari, member of the National Technical Board of Nutrition and Health, Government of India. We have a uh, Gaurav Jain, Senior Vice uh, President, South Asia, uh, RB Health. We have Prabhat Pani, Head of uh, Partnerships and Technology at Tata Trust. Harmeet Bhala, Sales Director, India of RB Hygiene Home. And last but not the least, Siddharth Vinay Patankar, Editor-in-Chief of the CarAndBike.com, the face and the heart behind India's longest-running automobile show, Car and Bike. So let's get to it. All of them ready to go. We have our first team. It is the Germ Busters, and they're from SIBM Pune. Good afternoon, everyone. So over the past two decades, the urban Indian home has been insidiously and silently invaded by one of the most harmful health hazards, which is air pollution. When you think about it, the only options that they have are air purifiers, which actually led us to a big idea. The idea was a home air purifying device that is effective, accessible, and efficient. So for, for doing this, we'll be leveraging the Airwick brand and the home is in the air concept. So home is in the air concept is basically about enhancing the indoor, indoor environment of your house. What are the two key components of this product? This product has two components. First is the refill. The refill will have the base substance, which we have identified as beeswax. What beeswax actually happens in it is that when you heat it, it emits negative ion. And the refill will also have a wick that will, through its capillary action, take the beeswax to the heating element that is stationed in the diffuser. Now, once you actually plug it in, what, uh, what will happen is that on switching on the device, negative ions will be emitted from the uh, negative ions will be emitted from the device. They will be attracted towards the particulate matter as they have been identified to be heavily positively charged, making them so heavy, so dense that they cannot be remain suspended in the air, and they would actually settle down, clearing the air and providing you a purer and safer home. Through MaxPure, what we are trying to do is that cause a disruption in the air purifier industry by by giving an FMCG product which is affordable and accessible. And also we believe that this through, through this product, we'll be able to actually touch millions of lives. Thank you. Sure, our judges have some tough questions for them. I mean, beeswax as a candle has been available in India for decades. You go to any decent store, you'll find beeswax. So mm. have you figured out why that has not caught on? And why would people believe in this beeswax solution? So if we look at beeswax candles, so there is a premiumization attached to it. So people usually use that for like uh, for like fragrance in their homes, and so that is something that we are not uh, look, looking at. We are targeting the urban and uh, middle class and affluent households over there, and uh, adding on that, putting the RB logo, RB brand with it will in itself be uh, make, make it financially viable, and also people will accept it. That is something that we're looking at. Great, thank you. First team down. They've uh, set a high bar. Let's get the next team up. Is it team two, Illuminati? We're talking about contamination of fruits and vegetables. It's the amount of pesticides, and not only pesticides. We have coloring agents, and we have wax coatings, microorganisms, and a whole lot of other substances that goes into fruits and vegetables, and we are consuming it. We saw that there are immediate effects of pesticides that we have seen in children. The mental disorder cases going up, stunted growth in children, weaker immune systems, gr greater risk of cancer, and a whole lot of other things that come with it. A WHO report says that there are 
200 plus diseases that have been on the rise due to the ex exposure of pesticides which is increasing day by day. We as consumers are always tensed that there is pollution around us, plastic pollution, air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and on top of that, on the food that we are eating, that is also polluted with pesticides. And we don't deserve that. We don't want to feed our children with those polluted food, right? Mm. So we come up with an idea, which we call our big idea. That is Dettol with fruit and veg wash. We want it to be like this. It's a clear solution in a transparent bottle. Why? Because we want the mothers to put this solution to wash your vegetables. They will not put something which is colorful, maybe. What we want to do is 10 ml of this concentrated solution in one liter of water. You soak in your vegetables and fruits for two minutes. And then you take that out. You will see the water be getting murky. And that is a proof of concept that the, the solution is actually taking out the contaminants out of the fruits and vegetables. And then you take that fruits and vegetables out and wash it again. And then you use it. All right, so I have two related questions. Uh, first is, of course, uh, what do your uh, tests indicate in terms of, or, or your research, I should say, indicate in terms of the actual cleaning? Is it sort of 100% cleaning? Is there, uh, and does it also take out some of the pollutants from the environment in the sense, you know, you buy them on the roadside, you have vehicular pollution perhaps falling on these fruits and vegetables. And the second is this murky water thing. Is that just an innovation or a trick to convince people or is that a natural byproduct of the, of the process? So, if you see from a biotechnology perspective, this is a problem of solubilizing the insoluble biomolecules. And when we talk to RD, uh, RB's R&D team, uh, Dr. Uh, Shanta Kumar, he told us that uh, any mild acidic or basic solution can trigger this uh, solu increased solubility. And uh, so when, when this impu impurities will get, uh, uh, will get uh, uh, dissolved in the water, it will naturally change the color. So when, when, when you will uh, put in the, only the Dettol wash, it won't, it won't change the color. It's the dissolving property that, that will dissolve the impurities and will change the color. And it's all kinds of impurities, pesticides as well as pollutants. Yeah, yeah. So all, all the contact pesticides. And there can never be 100%, but yeah, at least 99.9% .9 you can make sure. There can never be 100%. Uh, team 3, Wakanda Warriors. Good afternoon, everyone. If you see, as per the recent Niti Aayog report, 21 Indian cities will run out of water by 2020, which is not far. To reinstate this fact, there are a lot of happenings in the recent past, like uh, the recent Chennai water crisis, which has happened last summer. Then Bengaluru, Mumbai and Delhi water crisis are happening in the recent past. If this situation is not solved, 6% of India's GDP will be lost in 2050. There are uh, some other facts like 40% of the India's population will have no access to drinking water by 2030. At this rate, day zero is approaching for all the Indian cities. So how we can solve this? So the product that we are trying to launch here, our big idea, is a Dettol dish spray. It addresses uh, the, tr uh, the problems of water conservation, the home hygiene, and convenient and easy dishwashing. So what exactly is it, right? It is a, a superior dishwashing liquid, which has a revolutionary formula, which A, is able to cut through grease and oils and remove it two times more efficiently, and B, of course, the Dettol promise of 99.9% .9 germ kill, which leaves the dishes smelling and feeling both fresh uh, all day long. We want to push everybody towards a more sustainable method of dishwashing so that we can save water with the chore that's done every day. These products look more expensive because sprays are more expensive as a dispensing medium. You have a trigger. Yeah. Right. Also, it seems like you have to spray a lot, right? You put it, wipe it, do it. Then the key thing you're trying to say is that if my gels would have been less viscous and probably required no soaking and rinsing, the job could have been done. Uh, but the mechanical advantage of the spray being here, uh, that uh, again, we don't spray it on the vessels. The usage that we are encouraging is the fact that it will uh, right, directly onto the scrubber and it's able to uniformly dispense and coat the entire scrubber and it becomes much easier to wash. Because another thing that we observed was most often uh, people don't really do the that part of uh, diluting the liquid or soap before using it also. Uh, say there are only four or five vessels, they just directly apply a little bit which just con is concentrated on one part of the scrubber and then they use it. So uh, in terms of usage, as the mechanical uh, superiority uh, is also considered for a spray. Thank you.
Welcome back. So we have team four. These are the case breakers and they are from IIFT in Delhi. We associate water with bathing and toilet. But have we ever <coughs> wondered how much water we use to wash clothes? One load of washing machine takes about 100 litres of water. Statistics say that every year we throw out around 92 million tonnes of clothes just due to a small stain. To understand the gravity of this problem, we spoke to a few people and we realised that 79% of these stains are simply due to dropping of food and drinks. And around 68% people said that they wash clothes only due to the fear of bad odour. Our idea, Vanish, will be a step closer to solving this issue. And how do we propose to do that? Let us take a look at our big idea. Vanish Stain Roll-On is a waterless stain removal product. It is a very simple yet an effective solution. It has a roll-on at the top which makes it very easy to apply the liquid on the affected area and a brush at the bottom which is detachable and can be used to brush off any residues that are left. We have also come up with a refill sachet for our price conscious customers. So now you can just roll away your stains. Stain gone, pain gone. Our product is a quick fix on the go solution which is very easy to use and carry and it is very handy and portable. It also deals with the problem of bad odour. So there are times when you stain your shirt due to sweat. So not only will stain roll on work on these kind of stains, it will also help to tackle the bad odour emanating from these stains. You've counted this as a strategy for, uh, for water scarcity uh, issue, you know, addressing that. Now, I think it's a weak strategy for that. And why I say so is, uh, for example, this one cup of coffee that I'm, I take, I, the virtual water footprint basically is something like 90 liters of water. So if you look at the coffee beans, if you look at the, the dash of milk that you add the, and the sugar, it all works to, you know, a high. So what is it that you would really be addressing in terms of water scarcity? So every time you stain your shirt, you would have to wash it in one bucket of water at least, if you're not washing it uh, in a uh, washing machine. And even that bucket of water would take about 10 litres of water. So for one small stain, you need not wash your cloth, uh, not because it's necessary, but just because of the stain. And instead, you can save at least 10 litres of water with each stain. Thank you so much. That was great. And we have uh, team five now, which is third degree from SIBM in Pune. Flies cause a plethora of diseases through contamination of food and water. Now, unlike mosquitoes around whom there is a lot of awareness, but people are not really aware about the diseases caused by flies, their modes of transmission and their breeding sites. Some of the major diseases caused by flies are diarrhea, tuberculosis, leprosy, cholera, etc. We are coming up with this product called the Mortine Flyguard Active Sublimable Cakes. So these are basically odonyl-like cakes which sublime over an elongated period of time, thus providing us continuous protection against <coughs> like all types of flies, bed bugs and ticks. Now, if we see the similar products which exist in the market, they are the sprays, uh, the candles, the floor cleaning liquids, and the coils. The sprays have a time effectiveness of around uh, four to five hours. Uh, the candles can't be used indoors when the fans are on. Uh, the floor cleaning liquids have a vertical range of, of effectiveness of only three feet. And the coils, uh, although they are the most widely used, uh, they have a bias against them uh, that they are kind of polluting. So we've tried to address all these issues of these products and our competitive advantage is that our cake lasts for the entire two weeks, thus providing continuous protection at a very convenient price point. Also, the premium version of the product is completely organic. At this price point, that's something. And obviously, the, the easy to use sticky feature. Uh, this is a comment. So rather than look at doing a lot of standalone things, there could be a very strong linkage that could be established with these national programs yes. to be able to position this product as possibly one of the solutions which will, and you use the firepower and the ammunition which is being used for the larger campaigns to gain from it. So okay. absolutely so. So we also thought about uh, featuring on the national health mission portal to reduce the number of flyborne diseases say to below 100. 
So that way we can tie up with the government and use our ammunition you, as you so mentioned. We'll keep this in mind. All right. So team six, Inceptus from ISB, addressing <laughs> mosquito-borne diseases. Malaria costs more than 11,000 crores. Dengue has cost uh, more than 6,000 crores annually. Also, 95% uh, of the population in India lives near malaria endemic areas. Our big idea is a two-product portfolio. Our first product is Mortine Gel-Based Sanitizer. The next product is Mortine Diffuser. Uh, it will look like this. It's a prototype. So our first product, which is Mortine Gel Sanitizer, is a self-subliming allotherine in a gel-based format. We can actually include this in the part of their uh, garbage collection cycle. So whenever a customer goes and removes or changes the garbage bin uh, bag, he should make sure that the product is attached to the uh, bin. Our next product is Mortine Diffuser and it uh, works like a spray. Uh, it contains pyrethrum-based uh, insecticide which could kill mosquitoes around the garbage. Um, you know, what's the, let's say, the difference in, in, in chemical terms between all the existing products that you've already shown us, why is this more effective? In terms of chemicals like you use, which are being used in it, they will be very, in, uh, the different kind of chemicals will be used in both the products because one is being installed in an environmental friendly setting and then mm -hmm. the exposure is not just to humans but also to the different animals and people surrounding it. So it will be a lesser uh, concentrated kind of a garbage but the thing is that the Particle size for these will be really less, but the pressure will be really high so that the gas can really immerse into the entire garbage because it will be stuffed with a lot of uh, waste. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We have a mentalist also from ISP, correct? We present to you our big idea, which is um, the Infamama prenatal uh, nutrient and vitamin fortified biscuits and tea. This is under the uh, RB Meat Johnson uh, nutrition. So. The value proposition that we are actually trying to deliver is that through our products, which is the fortified biscuit and tea, we cater to the complete basic nutritional dosage that a pregnant woman needs during the seven to nine months of the pregnancy. Uh, through, uh, through nutrients, for example, DHA, uh, I, DHA, iron, folic acid and some elements of vitamins are utmost essential for any pregnant woman and our product delivers on that. Just to summarize, this is uh, NutriPower is an uh, idea that can take several forms, maybe a biscuit, maybe a tea, so as to empower the women and the future generations of the country. Thank you. Have you looked at uh, regulatory constraints on this product? Yes. Have you talked to anybody who knows about what are the challenges associated with bringing them to the market? Uh, we came to know that it is not allowed to be marketed in India because of uh, some heavy regulations and due to this we have uh, changed change the brand name to Infamama and Infamama we can openly uh, uh, openly market it plus as long as we don't speak about the health of the fetus then uh, the regulations come down a lot so uh, after speaking to the industry experts we have come down to this conclusion let's bring in uh, the last team Innovisor from I am Indore do you know one in eight deaths that happen in India are due to air pollution? And out of the top 20 most polluted cities, India is a host to 13 of them. We, the team innovators, wish to address the adverse health issues due to air pollution. So, basically our product via is a personalized device which everyone can use to protect from air pollution. And why should they buy our product? Uh, our product sells comfort as its main USP. It has two clamps attached to the outer nostrils and instead, instead of inner ones like most uh, compact, uh, compact nose mask have. And uh, you, as you know, the outer nostrils are less sensitive than the inner one. Uh, so it, it provides greater comfort and can be used for longer periods of time. And it has reusability as its second uh, aspect. That is, they can, uh, we can use uh, the filters are replaceable and we can uh, reuse it for a longer period of time. And it is also an affordable, affordable product and gives greater utility for the uh, value uh, among its com competitors. It has a robust and flexible and low-key design which doesn't stand out and uh, is made of eco-friendly materials. And uh, in this uh, compact mask, we are using nanofiber technology, uh, which is a very, uh, which is uh, a relatively mature research topic and it, it can be produced on industrial scale. Uh, the fibers produced are uh, durable and strong and it also has high filtration efficiency up to 95% uh, and also does not compromise on breathing, ease of breathing. Would the product that you have designed have an advantage of yes. continuous use, meaning over extended periods of time, 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, if need be, for indoor application? 
Sir, as we said earlier, uh, it is because of our design and compactness. We can wear it for a longer period of time without any uh, discomfort and uh, discomfort. And it also the filter is also last for 20 hours. So 20 hours. So basically, we can wear it for uh, longer periods of time in the indoor. And uh, our vision is to promote it as an everyday tool in the longer run. You have come here after passing 12,000 entries. You should be extremely proud of yourselves. Unfortunately, we have to choose two. So I'll, I'll present, uh, I'll just, uh, the winner number two. Martin Insect Repellent Cakes, the fly one. A team from SIBM Pune. So the winner uh, is uh, Mentalist from ISB. Fantastic. Uh, I think the Infa Mama prenatal biscuits. I think it could solve a very big social problem. I think it's innovative and I think it's extremely doable.